Hi, my name is Tiffany. I'm a keeper here at Wildlife Sydney Zoo here in Darling Harbour. And I'm going to be giving you guys our wombat talk today with our beautiful resident wombat, Ringo, who's munching away at some of his breakfast. Um, and in here, you might notice some of our yellow-footed rock wallabies as well. These guys do share their same exhibit. So our beautiful wombat, he's known as a common wombat or a bare-nosed wombat, and he's one of three species. So being a bare-nosed wombat means he has no hair on his nose, um, and common is because he's commonly found on the east coast of Australia, while our other two wombat species are the northern hairy nose and the southern hairy nose. So he's one of those three. Now, our common wombat here, Ringo, he is about six years old and he is a fully grown male. Um, and he uh, would weigh roughly about 30 kilos, which is an average for an adult. So he is uh, six years old, like I said. We found him when he was about four months old. Unfortunately, his mum was hit by a car. So it is a very, very common thing to happen out in the wild. Um, but with Ringo being in mum's pouch, he was luckily protected. So the mum took uh, the big brunt of that crash um, and then Ringo was the survivor. So being four months old, he needed to be hand reared. Um, so he was hand reared here. Uh, and being six years old, he doesn't need us anymore, but he does love our affection. So he does love to have lots and lots of pats. So we give them to him every morning um, with his favorite food. So that corn and that sweet potato and that carrot. Now there's quite a few ways they can protect themselves. One is having a really long burrow. Um, these guys also have a bony bum. Uh, which is a really cool adaptation. So they actually have cartilage plates on their rump area. Um, and this cartilage plate actually protects them from predators such as dingoes or anything else out there. Now what they will do is they can actually run back to their burrow. They're gonna plug the opening of their burrow with their bum. So they're gonna go in head first and they're gonna wait there, make sure the predator doesn't follow them in. Now, if they have some offspring, if they have a little joey with them, um, they're gonna wanna make sure that joey's in the burrow first and then they'll plug that burrow with their bum making sure that no predator is going to follow them in and attack them or their joey. Now they are strictly herbivorous, so they do love to eat greens, lots of grasses, they can shoot bark or even eat algae. Uh, and these guys have a fantastic sense of smell. Now a lot of these features that they have are actually the same features uh, that their closest living relative, the koala, has as well. So another animal that has excellent sense of smell, that really big spoon-shaped nose, excellent hearing and not the greatest vision. So they share that with their cousins, the koalas. Now, um, out in the wild when they're eating lots of grass and lots of different greens, they have the same kind of teeth that your guinea pig or your rabbits might have and they are called incisors. So they are growing incisors. They are two teeth up the top, two teeth down the bottom and they are always growing and they are nice and strong. So he can rip up the grass and the roots and chomp down on those really nicely. Thanks for listening to our talk, guys. I hope you learned a lot about our wombat Ringo and other wombats out in the wild. Stick around and tune in for other talks we're gonna have here at Wildlife Sydney Zoo in Darling Harbour.